Hi, welcome to the Otis Gyrie channel. I'm Otis Gyrie, a veteran storyteller and professional voice actor, and I love to spin a good yarn. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for listening, and God bless you. I Took Him to the Park by Ben Dawson Narrated by Otis Gyrie I took my dog to the park. He wasn't his younger self anymore, his legs and joints. No longer moved as quickly as he would have liked them to, but that didn't stop him from trying. I had to lift him into the passenger seat. That should have been the first sign, but I thought nothing of it, as he hadn't been well around that time. As we headed toward the park, I lowered the window for him. Within an instant, his old head was out the window, panting in anticipation of the sights, smells, and new friends that awaited him at the park. I opened the door for him. He slowly lowered himself out of the car, like a child trying not to slip on ice. But then he was off, turning back as if to say, Come on, we're here now, let's go. And with that, he turned and trotted off ahead. It was not hard to catch up with him. Once I did, we walked along happily for a while. A while later, I noticed he was getting tired more quickly than usual, though. So I figured it was about time to head home anyway but not until he had sniffed and peed on a few more bushes, though. The drive home was quiet. He rested his big head on my leg, staring up at me with those old eyes that seemed to stare right through me. When we got home, I had to lift him down out of the car. Once inside, we would normally go sit on the couch, but instead, he headed straight for my bedroom. I decided to follow him, as that wasn't normal for him. He went to stand beside my bed and tried to climb up. He had never been allowed on my bed before, but this time I gently lifted him up and held him in my arms and lay down on the bed. I had known what was coming. Thank you, I told my best friend. You've been everything I could ever have wanted and more. When I was angry, you made me smile. When I was scared, you gave me comfort. When I thought I was alone, you reminded me you were always there. I love you, and I just wish you didn't have to go now. He stared up at me as tears began to fall on him. Suddenly, he gave me one last long lick of his tongue over my face, as if to say, why are you crying? It's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. And with that, I held him close and felt his last breath leave him. I don't know how long I lay there, holding the lifeless body of my old friend. He had given me everything until his old body had nothing left to give. But even in his final moments, he still had time for me. I would always have time for him. Time is all I've got left now. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to this story in its entirety. If you enjoy what you hear and what I do and would like to support me and my efforts, visit my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Otis Gyrie. If you haven't yet, please hit the like button and subscribe today and share this video with everyone on your social media. It helps more than you could ever imagine. If you'd like to see a particular story narrated, including one you may have written yourself, send it to submissions at otisgyrie.com and I'll take a look. If you're interested in more of my work in the horror genre, you can also find me at Chilling Tales for Dark Nights on their website and YouTube channel, and on Chilling Tales, the podcast now available on iTunes. Again, thank you for listening and have a great day. God bless you.